Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton, a member of the Intelligence Committee. Committee. Uh, Senator, thanks for being here. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, Shannon. Good to be on with you. What is your reaction now that we've uh, confirmed that it is Amy Coney Barrett? Uh, and what do you think about this day, the importance of it? Um, this is an amazing day for the Constitution and the rule of law in our country, Brett. President Trump, for almost four years now, has nominated outstanding jurists to the federal court. And one of those were Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals just three years ago. And she has exceeded even our high expectations for being a wise and sound jurist. Uh, the president has made another excellent choice. I commend him on that choice. I congratulate Judge Barrett. I look forward to voting for her nomination and confirming her to the highest court in the land next month. Senator, there's been a discussion about Democrats and whether they can go at her directly, how they're going to have to have some nuance in looking like they are potentially beating up on a woman with seven children, sitting there highly regarded, uh, even by people who do not share her ideological or jurisprudential viewpoints. Um, from Senator Cardin, though, they're now, this is a theme we continue to hear, they're going after topics. They say that the president has tried to repeatedly repeal the ACA. Now he wants to install in the highest court a person who will rule the way he wants them to rule. So really going after her more on the issues than they are personally. What about that? That's a huge case coming with the ACA. Well, unfortunately, Shannon, that's just Democratic spin because the Democrats have already attacked Judge Barrett for her faith and her family. Dianne Feinstein, the senior Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, said the dogma lives loudly inside of her. Dick Durbin, the second ranking Democrat in the Senate, asked her if she was an Orthodox Catholic. I don't really know what that means. She didn't either. Maybe it means that she actually believes in her faith. Kamala Harris, Joe Biden's running mate, attacked another judge for belonging to the Knights of Columbus. When you have those senior most Democrats attacking Judge Barrett and other judges for their faith, it creates an environment that unleashes the kind of vile invective we've seen on social media today coming from the left, attacking Judge Barrett for her faith, for having seven children, for adopting two Haitian children. It is up to Kamala Harris and Dianne Feinstein and Joe Biden and Chuck Schumer to repudiate these kind of vile attacks. They're the ones that created the environment for it. They're responsible for it. Senator, obviously the president's moving forward with this nomination. Uh, Senator McConnell has laid forward how this is going to play out and we're hearing that uh, the confirmation hearings could start October 12th uh, if all goes as planned. But yet, if you look at the latest polls, and there's a poll out from the Washington Post ABC News, asked, who do you think should nominate Ginsburg's replacement? Winner of the November election, 57%. Trump, current Senate, 38%. Do you think that there's any backlash for going the route that the president and the Senate majority leader are going? Well, Brett, first, on the point of timing, we have more than enough time to have a thorough and deliberate process here. Uh, we won't cut any corners or skip any steps. Uh, I would point out again that we confirmed Judge Barrett on a bipartisan vote fewer than three years ago. Uh, so there's not much left to review. She's written a few dozen opinions. I've already reviewed all of those. Uh, any other senator can do that promptly. As for the polls, uh, it is never truer uh, than in this case that the only poll that matters was on election day. We had a nationwide referendum in 2018 on whether the Senate should consider confirming President Trump's judges. Just one month after the Brett Kavanaugh vote, four Democratic senators who voted against Justice Kavanaugh lost their reelection. The one Democrat who voted for him won his reelection. And the Senate Republicans expanded our majority by two seats. So it is clear that the American people didn't just elect Donald Trump to appoint conservative judges to the courts. They elected this Senate to confirm those judges. He has made another outstanding nomination, and we will confirm Judge Barrett next month. Senator Tom Cotton, thanks for the time. Thank you all. All right, well, Senate Democrats have sworn.